Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Moody say. My name is MJ Omoto, and in the next few minutes, I am going to give you a rundown of Haze by Rema. The clock starts now. The latest African album review is... Haste is a very interesting title for this album by Rema. Firstly, because when you go to his social media, his handles are actually Haste Rema. And all this time, I thought it was He is Rema, which is interesting. Now, Haste means one in Greek, which provides for an interesting backdrop because when you then translate his handles, that would mean one Rema. I found that super interesting. Anyway, let's get into the review of the music itself. The first track, Macham, kind of hits you because it's not what you expect, especially once the toms start to dominate the beat. As you listen, the questions that start just coming up like, this is Rema, you know? At this point, this is when I realized that perhaps what Rema is going for is a shock value type of project to go with his recent image makeover, which sacrifices the babyface talent we've all known him to be up until a few weeks ago. This all seems like a coordinated effort as part of the rollout and all, which is quite interesting. There's a true genius to it as much as there is that madness. Given that it's done to shift attention onto Rema as he drops new music and leaves many questions to the audience, such as, is he still part of Maven Records or not? To answer that particular question, Hayes was released under Maven Global Holdings and Johnson uh, World Entertainment and distributed under Interscope and UMG. That means that at least this project is still under the same label, management and everything, but we don't know the rest of the story. Track 2 on Hayes is Azaman and Rema tried to bring us back to a more familiar realm both in the beat and his own delivery. Prior to this album being dropped, Rema gave us two singles, Benin Boys with Shalipopi and uh, <laughs> I had to do it that way. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> is all the way left for me. I couldn't get into it. I vibed with Benin Boys to an extent, but not enough to want to hear it over and over. The Shalipopi song I can understand as a lead single, but <laughs> nah, it's simply not what I would want to lead an album with, especially if I'm Rema. It's not musical enough and sounds far more gimmicky and unpolished in every way. Be that as it may, it's only been out probably like a week and <laughs> it's already gotten like over 800,000 streams on Spotify, so I don't know. The title track, Haste, is actually experimentally interesting, and by including the beautiful Swahili chorus, he really captured the interconnectedness of our African music landscape in a beautiful way. Those vocals were done gorgeously. Ozeba, in my opinion, could be a sleeper track, particularly for the Nigerian crowd, especially in clubs. When the chorus comes, I can totally see everybody just singing Uzeba, 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 just going, you know? And it's really catchy. That part of the song is really catchy and could come with some TikTok challenges if something can catch on. I believe Remo was trying to be dark and intentionally unbalanced on Haze. The album is equally confusing as it is genius. The highs are very high. And the lows are so deep down in the doldrums, you have to ask if he was just given free reign to do, to do whatever as a concession to what he has already done for the Maven's camp across the last five or six years. I genuinely don't know. The best tracks for me off of Haze are Yeo, which will fit right into the Ama Piano space. I already added it to the Afro Piano Intersection playlist on Spotify, so check out that playlist. The other one is War Machine with Odomodu Black. The combination between Rema and Odomodu Black is fire. Absolute fire. Yeah. I love it. I love it. The one track I think fits with Rema's music to date before this body of work is Now I Know and that's the last track on the album. 
it could be a sing-along for Rema's fans throughout this journey and all in all I enjoyed about four out of the 11 tracks and maybe out of the four I would repeat two maybe three this album is gonna split the fan base I can guarantee you it will split the fan base it will go down one of two ways with most of his fans either you love it or you hate it no in between it's an experiment whose timing I'm not sure of especially on the back of a mammoth hit like calm down with the world's eyes on Rema right now it just seems like the wrong time to be trying to experiment this much with the music for starters and then changing his whole persona and image in the process it's too drastic for me and sounds like an artist that hated being at the top and they are rebelling through their music to reclaim their sense of self what i do give rema props for is trying something new experiments in music often lead us to innovation and even though in this case i don't think he found anything special he has challenged the conventional and only time will tell as a project ace doesn't stack up for me if the songs were individual songs dropped over time one by one for market testing then i think they would go farther probably on the basis of his reputation for some of them however as an actual album or project uh, i'm not convinced and this is something that i say respectfully those that connect with Hayes and the music on there are likely to continue loving this direction that Rema is going in and those that don't are probably just going to be listening to his back catalog for a minute until maybe he changes his style. So how do I rate this album? I rate Haste by Rema a 5.5 out of 10. And that's that. Before I dip, I just wanted to say check out my website mjomoto.com M-J-W-E-M-O-T-O dot com. It's up and running. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. Peace. Day and day. This podcast is hosted by MJ.